joins us now live from the Atlanta Falcons facility in Flowery Branch to show us what exactly happened out there. Emily. Hey guys, Matt Ryan signed a one day deal to retire as an Atlanta Falcon. He joked it was a team friendly deal saying he gave them the hometown discount, but in all seriousness, you'll continue to see him on TV. He'll call games for CBS as he did this past season. He just won't be playing anymore. So after 15 seasons, four Pro Bowls and one MVP award, he's putting up his cleats. When asked guys, and he did laugh about this, he does believe he should be in the Hall of Fame given his body of work. He also admits it pains him to not have won Super Bowl 51 when the Falcons blew a 28 to 3 lead over the Patriots. He mentioned he enjoys his TV gig, so don't expect to see him anytime soon in a different capacity with the Falcons. He said for sure he wouldn't become a coach after a long career that saw many ups and downs. It's time to give back to his wife Sarah and three boys. I want to thank Sarah. Um, I, I would not have had the career that I had w without you. And um, I pride it myself on coming into the building every day with the same mindset and being consistent um, for my teammates. But I know I wasn't that <laughs> For you when I came home uh, and you are the one person on the planet who saw how it was really every day. And that's when Ryan got the most emotional when he was talking about his wife, Sarah. We also got to hear from owner Arthur Blank. He told us they wrapped up their draft beating today. And he joked that back in 2008, it was easier then because they knew they were going to take Ryan at number three overall. Of course, the 2024 NFL draft is coming up this Thursday. The Falcons have the eighth overall pick. Reporting from Flowery Branch, Emily Gagnon, Atlanta News First. Matt Ryan retired as an Atlanta Falcon today. He gave 15 years of his life to the NFL, 14 of them to the Falcons. Four Pro Bowls, one MVP award, and a Super Bowl appearance takes a ton of dedication and sacrifice. His family felt most of it. Now, his wife Sarah and three boys get their dad back. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. To my sons, uh, who are all sitting here, Marshall, Johnny, and Cal, um, you know, my my one wish was that I could have, you know, played longer, uh, so that you guys would have been able to share in that spirit, uh, experience. And more so than that, I'm excited to see what you guys are going to become. Ryan will continue to stay close to the game as a TV analyst with CBS. Today, he talked about how much of an honor it is to be among some of the greatest players who've come through Atlanta. Dominique or Chipper or you name the pitcher for the Braves, right? Like, there's just some unbelievable guys that, that have come through this city and been able to play uh, at a high level for a long time. And just to even be mentioned, you know, with, with those guys, um, to me, you know, I think back of those Braves guys, they like ruined my childhood growing up as a Phillies fan. And Ryan was asked if the TV analyst in him would put him in the Hall of Fame. He immediately said yes. That's an argument people have been talking about for years and only time will tell. We know where his vote goes. Reporting from Flowery Branch, Emily Gagnon, Atlanta News First.